Oh, hi there. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my dad's antique rhinoceros whip. Now, this is what it looks like. Um, I have no idea what it looked like originally, but it's since withered away a little bit because my dad didn't wax it and put the necessary oils on it to keep it from becoming quite uh, well, I'll say fragile. I mean, this is supposed to be a rhinoceros whip, so it's supposed to not necessarily whip rhinoceroses, but cattle and uh, other farm animals. It's made from rhinoceros skin, which uh, is the reason why it's so tough. My dad got this in 1965 from a guy who had been in southern Rhodesia it's now called Zimbabwe and um, so I really have no idea how old it is a rough estimate would be about 80 years old um, if someone is familiar with this sort of thing and maybe could give some shed some insight on it that would be appreciated it, it's definitely really old. Um, it's not meant for whipping anymore. It's meant for just for show. Um, I certainly wouldn't want it breaking. This one actually did break at the tip uh, a long time ago when my dad was whipping things in the office. Uh, so the tip broke off of it. He was just whipping papers around on desks and things like that and it broke off. So needless to say I will not be whipping anything with this thing. Uh, it could very well be a hundred years old, so that in mind, uh, I intend on keeping very good care of it from this point on. Um, yeah, it's a cool thing to have. It probably wasn't really used to whip cattle with. Uh, it very well could have been used to uh, whip black people with. Uh, or... Arabs or as they call them uh, wogs uh, a wog is basically anybody who isn't white uh, it's an old British term not really used anymore but it still holds some relevance. and um, yeah they mostly referred it to the Arabic blacks um, during that time because the British were they were a racist people uh, not too long ago along with everyone else so no one else can pull the high ground on that one now as for the rhinoceros whip itself it's more of a stick rather than a whip but you whip things with it like so uh, they call it a whip but uh, it's a little little rough here you would think it need, would need some sandpapering or something like that but that's the last thing you want to do like this is rhinoceros skin here so you definitely got to treat it with some respect um, it's not quite like ivory or anything like that and uh, I've had it for well my dad's had it since 1965 but I consider it mine since I was coherently aware of the thing so it's it's a cool little thing to have um, again I got to be very careful with it because it it could actually break. Uh, that's always a possibility. And I don't want that happening. No siree. Now, the time where this came from, uh, because my dad got it in 1965, but the guy who gave it to him was in Rhodesia for 30 years. So, uh, we don't know exactly when he got it. He didn't those details never really got uh, specified but you know this thing is really old uh, that that much is for certain they just don't make things like this especially anymore but not in the most recent of years anyway uh, unless you go to Asia then they probably have things like this but you don't want to deal with people like that anyway um, yeah, there are other things like uh, my dad remembers in the mid to late 60s there being advertisements to be police officers in uh, Rhodesia. 
and they paid up to five times as much as a regular job in, in the UK and uh, you had your own servant and your own quarters and it seemed like a pretty sweet gig but a retired RAF um, fighter who had spent some time in Africa told my dad not to do it because they would literally make you do things you wouldn't want to do I suppose that would mean like killing people or something like that or being abusive I have no idea. I wasn't there during that time and I can only speculate now because as far as uh, internet evidence goes, there's only so much of that available on the internet and you have to take it with a pinch of salt because you never know if it's exactly true or not. Like there aren't a lot of black and white or even colored pictures from those times that depict things accurately. You can't even watch the original clip of when uh, that South Vietnamese uh, soldier uh, blew the brains out of that uh, Viet Cong guy during the Tet Offensive. Uh, that clip is no longer available that isn't edited. I mean, you see the clip where he's like, he's got that face where he looks like he knows he's going to die, and you see the one falling, him falling over, but that's about it. Because they cut out the scene where his brains are flying out the other side of his head. Uh, my dad knows because he uh, watched the news or something like that during the time and he knows exactly what it looked like. But that clip in itself is unavailable. So anyway, my point was that uh, the evidence of what happened in particular countries at one time is not available to the general public. It's only available to those of uh, higher standings and uh, certain historical positions and who knows who else. But uh, these are all little interesting facts. And uh, I have spent my time researching them. And uh, my sources have come up fruitless. I have not been able to discover very much at all. And I don't want to go to school and things like that and pay money. and Because uh, the thing is, I know people who have taken history as a course. I know my cousin took uh, ancient Greek for a course, which would be interesting. And uh, I knew a guy at work who took a course on uh, more recent history and it didn't equate into them getting a job afterwards. So putting all that money in, it was a mistake for them because it's nice to know these sort of things, but you know, you want to have a job at the end of the, uh, at the end of the day. So the thing is to learn history and actually profit from it and earn, a living from it, uh, you have to be in a certain social situation, uh, which I'm trying to get to without actually paying for the knowledge. And uh, a little uh, relics like this, I think, may be a key to attaining that 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 goal. Um, yeah, uh, getting back to the. Uh, my father being a Rhodesian police officer, he turned down the position after he found out what, uh, how horrible it would actually be if he became one of those. Uh, I'm sure it would not be fun at all G going to South America or South uh, Africa. Uh, that doesn't sound like fun to me. It sounds like more trouble than it's worth. But a lot of British people did go there, and there were the ones who also were born there and then they sort of just bailed on it and, and came back to the UK uh, which would be a pretty wise decision uh, given the state of the country because uh, Rhodesia became Zimbabwe and uh, a leader came to power named Mugabe and they basically kicked all the white farmers out and uh, the new black farmers didn't know how to farm properly, or at least some of them didn't, maybe even most of them didn't know how to do it properly. And their people suffered greatly because of it. And uh, that's really too bad. I mean, the whites that were there, primarily the British, uh, were abusive, but things ran better. They were more efficient, and things got done, and they just held the economy together a whole lot better. So, as bad as they were, there's a lot of lessons to be learned, but they could have uh, been a lot worse off, and now they are a lot worse off. 
a rhinoceros are an endangered species, so that's one aspect of it. Um, the obtaining of uh, rhinoceros skins or ivory is illegal, and as well it should be. Uh, that's mostly Asian poachers and black poachers selling it to Asia. This is this predates all of that, so it's it's, it's legit. Um, uh, yeah, um, I guess I don't really have much else to say about it. I don't I don't know much about its history. I never met the guy who gave it to my father. So I have no idea where it even came from, really, other than what my dad's vague story told me about it. So it's, it's a thing of interest to me. Uh, I'll never get rid of it for any price. So um, yeah, if you watch this video, thank you, and enjoy the rest of your day.